Hey everybody, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. This Tea Time is dedicated to Black China and some chick who's trying to sue Black China, saying that Black China is involved in witchcraft, Illuminati, and she put a spell on her. Now the chick says, I'm a Christian. And she says she thinks that Black China is being phony, um, you know, getting baptized, going back to her uh, government name, Angela White, because she says she really feels like she's into some voodoo type of stuff. Now, I, I said to myself, wow. does everybody, you know, prefer to sue versus to go out there and just get a job? Get a job. The woman's claiming I'm homeless. I had all this bad love. And she's listed a whole slew of things that she claims is happening because Black China put the voodoo on her. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs> share screen with y'all right away so we can get into this because this is crazy okay insane to me so there she is all right hold on one second guys under her spell black china accused of witchcraft and legal witchcraft and legal battle over stolen lyrics with penniless singer who ended up homeless well, girlfriend, listen, you was homeless on your own account. Because if you can walk, talk, see, then you should be working. But let's continue. A struggling singer, bizarrely believes, born-again Christian, Black China, has put her under a witchcraft spell, which has resulted in her being made homeless as they remain locked in a bitter copyright dispute. Former Playboy model, um, Fisher, filed a lawsuit earlier this year, which accuses China of taking the chorus from her song, Hate Me Too, without permission. Okay, there she is. Since then, Fisher, also an active Christian, has suffered horrendous bad luck with her lawsuit being dismissed and eviction from her rental home in Los Angeles. Fisher, who is representing herself, is appealing the dismissal as she claims to have been going through extreme hardship at the time. Not only was she being made homeless, but she says her daughter was also being thrown out of another apartment. And okay, let's continue. In an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun, Fisher says that on top of all this, she was then given news of a seven inch tumor on her right ovary for which she currently is receiving treatment. She says this year has been pretty rough. I'm a Christian and, and both my pastor and I are fighting really hard because it appears that I have been spiritually attacked along with my daughter since January 2023, which is when the lawsuit started really gaining momentum. I have good reason and I'm going to sound crazy, but I wouldn't put it past that woman to be involved in some religious cult or Illuminati and this born again Christian stuff that she's trying to pull is some sort of cover up. I have not experienced these kind of weird things, one catastrophic at another, homelessness, illness, and it's certainly clear there's a spiritual attack, and I believe it's coming from that woman. I've been having nightmares, which is a symptom, symptom of a spiritual attack that, in, that involves reptiles and snakes. She continued, my pastor has been giving me exorcisms, holy oil, prayer rituals, 
all Christian base. His grandmother in Brazil was a witch doctor for many celebrities in the 70s and 80s. Celebrities keep stealing from those who are struggling and actually have the creativity. She, China, has displayed no talent other than ruthlessness, but is living in a $4 million house and I'm suffering homelessness. She, something is askew. Well, girlfriend, you got to get your information right because last I checked, China's home was $1.5 million. Uh, maybe the value is $4 million. But again, this girl ain't making no sense. She said, you going to think I sound crazy? You do sound real crazy to me. Fisher, who worked as a stripper, model, and actress, released the song Hate Me Too on October 11, 2018 on SoundCloud featuring rapper Jordan Lee. In the winter of 2020, Fisher signed a Sony distribution deal for her album and with Hate Me Too included. The song features the hook, If I Were You, I Would Hate, I would hate You Too, repeated four times. Around six months later, Fisher was told through mutual friend Lee that China was releasing a single called Doom with the chorus, If I Was You, I Hate Me Too, also repeated four times. In May 2021, Fisher filed first, her first complaint with the Los Angeles Superior Court, claiming China ripped off the chorus. Missed deadline. By September 2022, the case was dismissed because copyright infringement is a federal legal crime and needs to be brought to a federal courthouse. Fisher refiled the complaint in a federal courthouse in November 2022. According to the suit, she was advised to search the copyright registration and see if China, real name Angela Wright, had copyrighted Doom. Fisher didn't see it on the register and copyrighted the title of her lyrics. Okay, so she alleges she, I didn't know you had to sit there and copyright um, every one of your songs, but I guess so. Do all artists do that? Like before you put it out, you copyright it. I do know that they say like, you know, I'm taking your back here. When I used to buy CDs, it did say something about copyright on it. So maybe you do. Uh, so maybe this was a, a, a lack of um, uh, oversight on Black China's part. So she alleges she tried to contact China to tell her that her doom was in breach of copyright, but got nowhere, even offering to settle the matter in a celebrity boxing match. China drew last year in the ring with fitness model Alisa, um, was that Meg Megan? Listen, this woman seems like it's a money grab for her. I I I'm not buying all of this nonsense, but we'll continue. A Central District of California court judge ruled in June that Fisher had missed the deadline to oppose China's motion for pleading in her favor, which was granted. During this time, Fisher was suffering financially after um, never recovering from COVID-19, shutting down her main source of income. She's now living in a condo with a friend in Las Vegas and found work part-time as a private jet flight attendant. Well, girl, you working. I'm hoping and praying to get full-time contract as a flight attendant because the pay is really good, says Fisher. I just think that anybody with any logic and judges make decisions based on logic, I think that my appeal is going to get approved. This girl, me, had represented herself very well up until the crisis. Poverty P. Her appeal docs reveal that she's earned a pittance in the last 12 months. $1,631 from Uber Eats. $2,996 from airline work and $5,899 um, from background acting in states. I currently do not have my own place to live in. I'm in poverty. So so what does your poverty have to do with this whole lawsuit and you claiming that Black China has put the spell on you? China is yet to fully respond to the lawsuit according to the filings and the U.S. son has reached out to the star for a comment. Meanwhile, she says... She's now a devoted Christian and was baptized in her backyard pool on her birthday in May last year. She quit OnlyFans to shed her raunchy image and bid to become whole, telling the media at the time, with me being baptized, that's just not um, what God will want me to do. It's kind of degrading. She's talking about the OnlyFans, and this is referring to Black China, Angela White. But Fisher isn't buying the image chain saying, I have mixed feelings towards China because I'm a Christian and I'm supposed to be a forgiving person. I pray for her. I have changed other people's lives. I changed the lives of dancers. I used to be a stripper before. And, and I know strippers that have now turned to Christ. 
So, girl, you change other people's lives, but you can't change your own? Make that make sense. Although I'm not fully convinced she's a born-again Christian and doing this to impress the cause, her motivation is always money, she alleges. Her life, everything she's ever done, even having those children. China has two, uh, has two kids by Rob Kardashian and Rapper Tiger was to get money because she didn't love the man. How does this girl know who she loved and didn't love? This girl is doing a money grab. She actually um, driven um, money oriented person, the complete double, the double. It comes second to God. Oh God. So here we got this holy Christian wanting to tell us that black China is the devil. Girl, I'm going to need you to go sit down somewhere and have several seats and continue to work and sign it, stop trying to get money from Angela White. OK, stop trying to tell us if she is a Christian, not a Christian. You go be the good Christian that you claim to be. Sit down, continue to look for work, pray for yourself and your daughter. Get both of y'all out of this financial rut that you're in. You busy saying you can save other lives. Well, save your own and save your daughters. Get out of here with uh, uh, here with the nonsense of the witchcraft and you're going to sue black China. I'm not here for it. Listen, guys, y'all know the routine. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, people, and I'll see you on the next video.